Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at rotate left 3 from array 1, and this is the Java solution. The problem states, given an array of ints length 3, return an array with the elements rotated left. So 1, 2, 3 becomes 2, 3, 1. And we can see in these examples here, we're just taking each element and shifting it to the left, but we take the first element and we move it to the end. Now I'm going to do this two different ways. The first way I'm going to do it, approach 1, is I'm going to create a new array. And this is probably the better way to do it, knowing nothing about the problem. From a coding back perspective, it doesn't matter. But again, one of the things I really reinforce with students is that arrays are what are called reference variables. So if I change my array, that change is permanent outside of the method. And the second approach I'm going to do is I'm going to just change nums, which I have to be cautious when I do this. Um, and, and again, coding about it doesn't matter, but I really want you know to distinguish between these two different approaches. One is I create a new array, the other one is I modify the parameter array. All right, so let's do this. So we're going to make an int, and it's going to be called result, and I'm simply going to take nums at 1, nums at 2, nums at 0. Because what I'm doing is I'm taking the second element and putting it in the first location, the third element and putting it in the second location, and then the first element and putting it at the last location. And then I return result. There it is. Okay, so now let's do this the way that I most often see it, and that is students will just actually manipulate the array. Um, and this is fine, but again, I want you just to be aware that you're changing the array parameter. Something to always be aware of. All right, so let's first do this incorrectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take nums at 0, and that's going to become nums at 1, because we're going to take the second element and copy it in the first location. Then I'm going to say nums at 1, and that's going to be nums at 2, and then I'm going to say nums at 2, and that's going to be the very first element, which is nums at 0 and I just return nums. And I hope you notice that this is wrong, but again, this is a common mistake that students make. Why is that? Well, I think it's partly because we're thinking like people do, is you don't actively forget things. But with a computer program, when you overwrite a variable, it's gone forever. So what's happening here is if my array is 1, 2, 3, when I actually execute this next line, I get 2, 2, 3. And notice that 1 is gone forever. So then when I go to this next one, I get 232, two. sorry, 233, three, pardon me, because I've taken the last element and I've copied it in the second spot. And then when I take, take the very first element and copy it to the end, I end up getting 232, two, which of course is incorrect. And that's because this first step, I've overwritten that first element. So how do we get around this? We create an int called temp and we set it to nums at zero. And then we use that temp value at the end and copy that in instead. And the problem solved. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day.